What's up? How are you, man? How this you is doing? Francisco Ramos, comedian. What's up? And uh, actor, voiceover. Actor. Cool. You know, just a little. You know how you ever in, in in Hollywood, you gotta have like you just don't have one. You do it. You have to yeah, do yeah, a lot yeah. Of you gotta be an editor. You yeah. have to be a security guard. <laughs> Dude, yeah, did marketing, you, right? PR, everything. Yeah. How did you start? How did you get into doing stand up? And what get you the? It takes guts to be on to stand up there in front of everybody, and they're kind yeah. of making faces at you like he's, yeah. not that, he's not that funny. No, but how did you get into it? So, uh, so for me, I was like, it was a thing. Basically, I realized I majored in finance and international business. So when I graduated, uh, that's when I realized Ugh, I don't like this. I and I and I was real. I was like, man, I gotta find a passion or what I like. And that's when I started like doing. I said like a little like research, like like life therapy on myself. Went to Barnes and Nobles and read books about life and what to do. And everything led to comedy and making people laugh. That's when and that's when I started. I took an improv class, comedy back in D.C. where I grew up. And that's the first time where I realized that I had like wow, like I felt like good. I felt that I was better than the average and I wanted to do it again and I felt comfortable on stage you mentioned that people get scared I really felt more comfortable being on stage than being off stage wow and that's what kind of led me to go like okay this is I never felt this for anything in my life this is there's got to be something so I kept doing it and that's when I then decided to move to LA and pursuing it for real yeah who do you look up to as a, as Latino a Latino actor comedians right yeah. now Ah uh, man, uh, I think well the the obviously the big ones you know like uh, George Lopez and uh, Gabriel Iglesias. I feel like they uh, they have paved the way of like of you know of of even just not even like the way of doing it, but of like knowing like oh I I it's like doing it. Like you see somebody like that, and you see you like oh man, you connect with them, and you go like wow, I guess uh, I could do this. You know what I mean? It does it gives you that thing because that's the thing. That's why it's great to have representation in TV and movies because it's not just having, it's just seeing somebody that looks like you or that resembles what you, or talks about your family the way that you know your family and then I was like, oh great, you can make, you know, jokes about this and be successful, so them like that, that's always been like my, the ways that I look up to and go like, oh well, that's kind of like the career that I want to have, yeah. I ask this question to a lot of comedians, where are you big, like is it, is it, is it South America, is it Central America, or is it LA, is it, is it DC, like where are you kind of, like they love you, you're, like, yeah. you're big, you're big in Japan, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, that'd be great if I was big in Japan, I mean, I don't know, hopefully, I don't know. Uh, well, it's funny, like, uh, you know, you see the Instagram things that I, uh, when you post videos and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like, I get a lot of views from India, so maybe, I don't know, if, oh. I don't know if, if I go, if I ever go to India, that'd be great. But uh, in terms of, uh, it's funny, because, like, I've been, since I moved to the U.S., I was born in Venezuela, and I moved to the U.S. when I was 12, so, like, I always been, like, uh, always a more American than Venezuelan, but I always had that thing where I'm, like, I'm not completely American, but also not complete, so I was always, like, in the middle, so then, like, my fan base is not, like, completely Venezuelan people, you know, it's just, it's a mixture of, of Latinos, a mixture of people that are not Latinos, you know, and, like, in terms of cities, you know, I get a lot of love from, you know, New York and um, Houston and Miami and, um, and uh, San Diego and L.A., of course, you know, so, yeah, it's just a mixture of everything, so it's, like, it just, uh, that's where, like, most of my, the fans, the people go, like, hey, you gotta come here, Chicago, another one, so... So yeah, what's that feeling like when you know you're killing it? It's like, uh, and you're just pouring salt and and, and and gravy on top, and it's like it's coming out. Every joke's coming out great. That's the best feeling. I don't know if like I don't know if you ever um, surf or you know anything that you know that you're like what, whatever you like to do that you're that you're in that zone in that control. That's like that feeling of like when you know you're like oh you connected with this audience and now you're just like having fun now you're just going like now you can experiment you can and also because they Cause already, you, you got them all jazzed up right yeah and also yeah. they like now you can just if something doesn't work they're still with you like that's the best feeling for a comic and that's what you want to you know duplicate every time you get up because it's like you're hanging out with your friends. So right, even if right. like if you're hanging out and I make a bad joke, you still go like, ah, that was dumb. Uh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, right, no, right. but but you're still with me, you know. And that's the, the when you got that, that's the best feeling. Let's go. Let's go the other way. What about when it's like just dry and quiet out there, and you're like, <laughs> whoa, that worked in the, that worked in <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> yeah, that's where the work. I mean, and I think that's where the actual work of being a professional comedian. I'm doing all the reps. I mean, I've been doing this for like 13 years. So like, and I started just literally performing in front of like nobody like zero people like two people so I I already know in a way how to make something bad good or like how to try to find ways to connect and the tricks that you do so yeah so obviously sometimes 
And sometimes, you know, you, you try all the tricks and you try all the stuff, and sometimes the crowd is, you're, they're just, it's not like you're bombing, but they're just not with you. So then you just gotta kind of like, you know, roll with it. You kind of go like, well, that's it, you know, that's, I did what I had to do. So it's like, but you always have to find ways to do it, yeah. How about when you've had, there's, there's always like some type of heckler somewhere, so yeah. um, sometimes they can help you. Yeah. And sometimes they're actually pretty good hecklers. No, that's right. <laughs> and, and I think it's like, heckler to me is like, it's like, I feel like, I, in terms of my shows, I like to be very interactive. I talk to the crowd. I, uh, I want them to, I mean, not like to jump in, like if I ask a question, it's like answer the question and then I'll, we'll just have fun with that. So I like that. So what you're talking about heckling that sometimes helps the show, it's like, it is sometimes when somebody just, you know, reacts to like a joke that I did or something that mm -hmm. I did, that they react involuntarily. And, you know, then to me that's like, if like just came out of nowhere and then I can just grab that and then start going, hey, what was that? And then like, that really makes the show, like if, if it's a show that's like going well, but it makes it even better because people then are connected because it becomes a thing of like where you had to be there. Got and it. that's where people go. And, and I love that. So it's like, I don't think in terms of Hector, when you're like trying to set up a bit and then people just interrupt, interrupt, but it's like when it's something, and like perfect example, if you go to my Instagram or TikTok, one of the biggest ones that I've, viral kind of like viral videos that you know it's got like 11, 11 million views on tiktok is when i was in san antonio and i was doing a show and uh, talking about rescue dogs and this lady yelled you know she's like well you gotta you know you, you gotta save rescue and I was oh like, i saw that one that yeah. that's that's that because of that video is why i contacted oh, wow. you you shouldn't buy dogs you, sh you shouldn't buy dogs no okay uh <laughs> Them. You shouldn't freaking buy them. All right, uh, but sometimes you want a new dog, you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> they need homes and they need love and they oh need God. food and they need care. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, don't, buy dogs. don't fucking do it. It's not right. How many dogs do you have? <laughs> I only have one. You should rescue mom. <laughs> You handled her. I was going like, I hope the tape comes out good because this is gold. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you're it, like this. You only have, you're a rescue dog and you only have one dog? Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so, you killed it. Like, yeah. you just, that was so fun. That's all like, you know what? Okay, cool. Yeah. You definitely, you definitely got that. And, that was, yeah. that was and great. that's the thing of uh, being like, uh, I feel like that's where the, all the work that I've done comes in. To be, to, to recognize what's going on and to not let it affect you. Just yeah. to like have fun with yeah, it because... Yeah. The bad part is when you let it affect you, you know. What I mean? You know, I saw the you can see the expression on your face. You're like, you're, it's like you're, you're just okay, okay. Yes. It's like, what do I, what do I get back here to throw back at her? And, uh, and yeah. you're like, I thought you had a farm of dogs. I thought <laughs> yeah. you were like rescuing I twenty know. dogs, and you only have one dog. And yeah. you're like, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, so she set you up perfectly. Yeah, it was great. Let's talk about how you got. How do you get your HBO special? Man, so like that was like um, a, a couple of years ago. Like uh, um, this uh, producer Edwin uh, Lacona, who's been doing already shows for HBO called Entre Nos, like a spe uh, parts of special where he's pitching like uh, up, uh, uh, you know, upcoming stand-up comedians to perform. And uh, so he reached out to me, reached out to my reps, and they uh, and then we set it up, and it was great because it was like uh, I was very happy just to be even in HBO, but also. It was like my first time doing kind of like a, a special, like a performing on, you know, taping, you know, and that was a great, great experience. He did a great, great job, and uh, hopefully, you know, this year there's going to be a new one uh, that oh, good. I can do a longer one. So, yeah, that's, uh, let's see. So, I also tell this to a lot of comedians, so it's kind of a complicated question. It goes like this. When you start out in comedy, it's like, okay, I just want to be good enough to do good on touring. I just want to be good every time almost. That's what I want, and it's this level. If I could only get an HBO special, if I could just get that special, then I'll be fine. Yeah. If I could just get that series on TV, it just doesn't... It's, it never it, ends. It never ends. If I could just be in a movie with Kevin yeah, Hart, if, exactly. I just, if I could just do something with Felipe Esparza, exactly. can I, if I could just, you know, I don't know. No. So, so what, where do you see, what's your next move? Where, yeah. where do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, no, it's funny, you know, because it is like that. When, like, I would go back, you know, five years, ten years ago, what I was doing, and, like, what I'm doing now, that's what I wanted to be doing, and it's like, now I want to do other stuff, and it's like, yeah, it's always, that's why for me, it's like, you cannot just you know be happy or try or like con that, content, that content content yeah yeah uh. with and also content with like thinking that if you get something that that's gonna make you happy because mm -hmm. you gotta be happy with what you're doing at the moment right, right then you always yeah you have to be like reach out for other stuff and and yeah for me right now yeah i would love to uh, get a you know 
even like you know a good special that uh, people can see because to me it's like the exposure right now is about the exposure and like that's why now, that's why you're here on Fab and, TV. Yeah, exactly. That's why I love that. No, and and that's the thing. To me, it's like so. It's like special. Obviously, I would love to be, you know, have my own sitcom. You know, something that I could, um, you know, write and create, and you know, that be an or be part of like a uh, or be part of a great sitcom. Doesn't have to be mine, you know, or 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 be part of a movie, you know. So and also even uh, write or produce. I I love like you know being also being behind the camera. Where like if I uh, my thing is being part of a good project, you know that's my right, my always right. thing. It's like it doesn't have to be me in the front, you know. I was watching some of your TikToks and stuff. So you do stuff with with JR. Yes. So yes. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna go to uh, JR Cruz. We're gonna we're gonna go to uh, Cabo San Lucas. We're gonna perform there next weekend. I saw that. I saw that. So, so that'll yeah, be yeah. fun. So what? How do you, so? How does that work? How do you guys meet up and like what do you guys come up to? You guys have definitely jive together. Yeah, so that was uh I mean we've been we known each other because of the stand up world, you mm -hmm. know, he's also the stand up, so we know each other for that. And then we uh I just you know, I reach out to him and be like, Hey, you know, because uh, I seen that he's recorded stuff on his own. I was like and he has his own equipment and stuff like that. So oh, I was good. like, Hey, you wanna come um, you know, just mess around, see what we can come up with, you know. So yeah, we have come up with little like you know, little uh, sketches, you know, me uh, imitating, you know, uh, Desi Arnaz and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. His other stuff. Yeah, he right? has a little Desi Arnaz look, yeah? Oh, yeah. Kind of? People, people always tell me that I remind them of, uh, of uh, you know, Ricky Ricardo, and I love it. I mean, like, I don't, to me, that's a great, great uh, compliment to have because, I mean, that guy, oh, just, geez. he created the they, multicam. Every, they I mean, they like, invented, but together, they want to own their own studio, exactly, Desi Lou Productions. And exactly. So, are, to me, that's like, yes, yeah, I want yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be Mr. Babalu, yeah, too. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. So yeah, now he's uh so yeah, we've been doing uh stuff and like that. So we just reach out and like and I think it's like what you said, it's like it's people that I um that also we have a good chemistry. Like I, I knew that we had a good chemistry even before we started doing it. So that's kinda go like I know if I if we can hang out like if we're at the club hanging out we can like joking and just about whatever, talking about whatever, we have a good chemistry, then I go like okay, then I can def you know, potentially, you know, do something, you know, funny with it with him. So yeah. Whenever you're with a group of people, right, and they don't know you, they don't know who you are, yeah. and, they're, and you start, start cracking some little jokes, or you start roasting in a good way, they're like, Dude, you should do comedy, bro, and you're uh, like this. <laughs> it's like, how does well, that... That's, well, going back to when I first started, uh, even before I didn't even think about doing comedy, I would get that all the time. And then that, to me, I always saw it as a sign going back of like, oh yeah, I should be doing this, because when people tell you stuff, that's kind of like the universe telling you to do this. But, uh, but yeah, it is funny when people... Um, just be like, oh yeah, when they say that, I'm like, yeah, I do that, I'm performing tonight. Yeah, tonight at the comedy <laughs> yeah, 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 store, yeah, okay, yeah. so. Or so. also, it's, what's hard too is when you're like, because I'm surrounded all the time with comics, and all we do is riff and joke around, and like, obviously with us comics, there's no like line. You know, you know what? I'm um, sorry to cut you off, but Byron yeah. Allen, you know Byron Allen? Yes, of course. He's the one that says that, you know what? The, us doing comedy on stage is one thing. That's funny. But when we're all together and there's no barriers and we're just... That's th that should thing. be a show because you guys just go off. Exactly. And that's what I was going to say. It's hard then to like... When I'm with like people that are not comics and you... You know, I mean... And then I joke... About something that I would joke with a comic, and then they go like, "That was that was, you shouldn't have said that," or like, oh, because, I and I'm like, "Ah, oh, sorry," you know. Even with my own friends back in D.C. where I grew up, like, I had to like realize it's like, oh, I can't joke with them the same way that I joke with my comic right. because it's a. Uh, they just thinks differently, you know. You know, you're in the hardest time ever to be a comedian because <laughs> it's like you have to be kind of sensitive over here. You can't say this over here, and you got to preface everything like this is a joke. We're in a comedy store, yeah. so relax, yeah. relax. Like, look, yeah, no, it's hard because it is. I mean, it is hard in terms of because uh, yeah, you do have to realize every time I post something, even I tweet something, I go like, okay, is this gonna offend anybody? Right, just gonna second, this gonna cancel <laughs> gonna me. Gonna something there, so I always kind of like. But at the end of the day, I go like, look, this is funny to me. This is like, and I'm not offending anybody. I'm not trying to, because to me, that's when you, when you try to do it, then it's like, well, yeah, but if you're not trying to do it, and then if somebody, because anybody is always going to get offended no matter what. That's so true. You can put, you know, you can put a little puppy, you know, and a little baby sleeping together, and I tweet that, and they're like, well, that's well, it. They shouldn't put, put them in yeah, the same bed together. Yeah, yeah, I mean, no. like, There's somebody that's going to be, I was like, all right. But you, you see know, somebody I, in their base mom's basement, you know, typing like, hey, and they hate. Exactly. I feel, and that's the thing, too. That's why it's like, I don't respond to, to, to trolls, to anything like that, because that's what they want. Right. You know, they right, want that right. interaction, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, and look, I'm okay with people if I post something and people write, make a comment and it's a funny comment like you know roasting me or 
then I'm I'm cool. I liked it, you know. But if it's if you know that it's coming across just to be trolling or not, that's probably going like I'm not. You know, for me, it seems like whenever I have a good interview, right, yeah. really good interview, this yeah. is going well and everything, I get, like, two comments, like, good job, okay. Mm -hmm. But when I mess up or I stutter, yeah. I fall off the chair, the, like, you shouldn't be doing this. Or yeah. you're, all these, like, the negatives are, it's, like, it's, like a hundred of them. I'm like, whoa. People love the negatives. I mean, this is, like, unfortunately, that's, like, the human nature of the world of, like, we're, like, I mean, you've seen everything. People share all the, I was just, like, looking at the Twitter, some lady going nuts on uh, in the Atlanta airport just you know yeah. going and like people share that views you know but like yeah. something good nah people no, don't so, share yeah, yeah, it's, it's just weird that's too it's like weird. oh no it's like so it's like it's, it is the thing of like that's um, and, and then but that's always my thing has always been the opposite I like just being positive being cool like have fun we're gonna joke around but always in a positive way not trying to make fun of people or trying to annoy or, or, or offend anybody but then again if somebody does get offended or not then you know you can't control that how about this this I kind of do this a little bit so I'm gonna say if you do it are you superstitious about anything that you do like like I, I killed it last week and I was wearing this <laughs> underwear I'm gonna wear this underwear again yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you do any of that again is this the same shirt that you're wearing? no 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 <laughs> but I am superstitious yeah yeah but no I am the same, same socks or I am the same I, I used to be a lot more when I started I remember like even like I used to I used to wear like this like it was like a leather thin like a leather thin I used to wear the same thing the same shirt and all this stuff because I had a good set and like but then as as I started doing stand up more and more then I realized I oh, know it's me it's not it's, it's not the and also a, a good comic his name is uh, was his, um, Argus Hamilton is like a very like uh, uh, old comic that started like in the seventies you know he told me once he's like you don't want to develop a crutch. Oh yeah. Where like where where then you have to wear the same shirt or you have to start the same way or you have to start with the same music because then then what happens if you don't have that? Right, right, right. You know, so then so I'm but I am still superstitious on like wearing like if I'm gonna have a big audition or something or a big interview or whatever, like let me wear this cool shirt that I had or this thing that did good or like or if I read the horoscope and it says hey green is your week right, right, right. Like, wow, we're great. Right. you know what I mean so yes yeah, so. this is kind of a lucky shirt so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lucky shirt I'm super but I have like 17 lucky shirts okay. <laughs> <laughs> What else? So, um, are people recognizing you more on the streets and stuff, or are, are you bigger on TikTok in a way? Or are you kind of more Instagrammy? Like, what's 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 your or the combination of it's, all? It's both. I mean, what's interesting is like it started last year when like I started getting like more popular in Instagram and TikTok, where like I started doing shows on the road. Like, and this is like especially in New York. Like, I went in New York in August of last year. I remember I was walking with another comic in like. Um, uh, on the streets of New York and some guy yelling hey you're that guy from the, uh, you're the comic right and I was like yeah yeah it's like yeah yeah you're so funny and then the shows that I did in New York people came to see me and I was like yeah I saw you on Instagram I saw that you were performing so I came in Miami same thing so like I am getting even though I was like uh, uh, buying something this lady came out to me like, oh you're that comic guy you know that dog the thing the, the, the dog so it's like people in my building too it's like hey you're funny you know oh, so yeah, it's, it's, like, good. it's good I am getting more recognized because of that which is that's the good thing now of, of what we are right now where like TikTok and Instagram and all that stuff is, is allowed and it's actually making careers yeah. of comics you know that blew, you know blow, blew up and TikTok or Instagram so it's accessing more because I and I what I love about it is not that you're not just getting views but people are actually coming to see you or coming to see yeah, me yeah. and that's what I like because so it you, does well you know what I love about TikTok like that joke the lady that attacked you with the, yeah. the, the, the rescue of dogs I watched it a few times it's yeah. that funny yeah. it's like yeah no, I want to see it I want to hear it again I, I want to hear it again I know it's great I mean it's a, it's a great tool to to, to uh, you know promote yourself you know from being kind of recognized have you gotten first of all be honest have you got any free stuff free parking uh, free something like nah, free, free, nah. free gum at 7-eleven or something like, <laughs> not yet so if you know me give me something for free <laughs> i get free stuff yeah you do? I, do I mean i've got it let's see i don't uh not really I haven't not that i remember of anybody giving me i mean oh no well i did one it was just uh we uh i was headlining a show and, and uh and a, a fan came after the show and gave us like cookies and stuff like that. So yeah, okay. so, but it wasn't like, hey, here's your free stuff, you know. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. want to get to that point, yeah. So hey man, it's been such a pleasure talking to you. I'm so glad you came in no, to talk to us. Thanks for having me. And um, it. all just the power to you. I want to see you be thank you. you know the next George Lopez with your own show and everything. Thank and you, um, you know, speaking of George Lopez, had his show and it got canceled. Yeah. But when it was in syndication, it took it took off. Mm. Almost like they should have canceled yeah, it. Yeah. Only, yeah. only Latino, you know, exactly. series on there. So. And that's the, the thing. Yeah. Hopefully that's. Uh, yeah. Hopefully we can be. Yeah. Doing yeah this you next, did a uh, series about your Venezuelan culture. You know, meets DC, exactly. Fish, or out, even fish me, out of water. Even my own life, because I'm, I'm, 
getting married this year to a girl from North Carolina, from the South. So don't, it's like, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Okay. <laughs> Is okay, okay. The, the, the interview just got, but no, dude, don't, 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 don't. don't get, it's over. It's like, no, you can't do that. You, you're too young. I'm not you're young. Too young. I, I'm not. I'm, not. I'm, I'm 40. 41. They, they made time for you to get married. Yeah. Now. It's over. <laughs>